What's going on you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. So in today's quick video, I'm gonna show you a tutorial in Streamlabs OBS for Mac. They have just added the instant replay feature and I'm gonna show you how to set that up. So this is what you wanna do. You wanna open up your uh, Streamlabs. See, I got Fortnite in the background. Open up Streamlabs. Make sure you have everything all set up, working and fine. If you hear any noise in the background, that's just the MacBooks fans. I'm multitasking so many times. So but this is what you wanna do. Have your slabs open. This is how you go set up. You go to your settings. It's gonna be on your general. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna do set multiple things. When you first get to your settings, go to general, scroll down, make sure you have this checked off, automatically start replay buffer when streaming. That's when you start streaming. Um, you don't need anything else on. Uh, you can keep recordings when you stop stream, but I just, just make sure you have that on. You can set up everything else how you want to. Next, what you wanna do is go to output, replay buffer. Now make sure you have it enabled. Mine right now is set to 10 seconds. Um, you should put it no longer than 30 seconds because using this feature does take your RAM. So if you don't have a lot of RAM on your computer, um, keep it low or just don't use it at all. But I'm just showing you, you know, you can do now, you can do instant replays while you're live streaming, you feel me? And then after that, so then what you're gonna do from there, go to hotkeys, find it in wherever yours is at. Mine is, okay, so mine is, when I first start off, mine is right here where it says, the first top, it says save replays. You know, you create a hotkey for your replay. You can also show your replays if you want to, you know, you wanna keep them up, keep them, you know, keep showing replays that you just scroll down till you see um, show instant replay, set up a hotkey for that. But once you got all that done, you're gonna hit done. And I'll say everything I'm telling you, everything's still working in real time, as you see. Bam, it's an item shop. Well, there you go, now you see what's in the item shop. Meh. But back to talk. So, so after that, what you're gonna do, once you start recording, once you start recording, from there, you down here where it says test widgets, you will get a little uh, icon next to record where you can hit your instant replays and save your replays and everything else. It's just how you set it up. Uh, or you can use your hotkey that you use to set a mine. I use F1 and, but before you start doing that, you have to add it as a source. So you click right here, scroll down to widgets, see where it says instant replay, add source. I already added it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you add a new source. This is what you pop, pop up. You can have it loop if you want to. Looping means it'll continue to keep uh, continuously um, continue to play. You don't need that. Restart playback when the source becomes active. Check that one off. Show nothing when playback ends. You know, you check that one on. And then close file when inactive and then your speed. You know, you can, you know, if you want to slow replay, you know, play with your speed, whatever you want to. Your color range, auto, well, put that on full. Hit done. Bam, you're good to go. So if you did like that new tutorial of how to use the instant replay feature on Streamlabs OBS on the Mac, uh, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, quick tutorial, and more things will be coming out. Stay tuned, I got a good video coming out with my good friend, Midnight Man. Um, still working on that video, so stay tuned. But that's gonna be a real good vein, uh, video. It's gonna give everybody a little bit of eye opener. So stay tuned for that video. Should be having it ready by next week. But if you did enjoy this video, like this video, subscribe if you're new. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers. We're almost there, woo! So share this tutorial around. If you wanna learn how to use anything else, share more other tutorials, go check them out. And God bless everybody, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.